ECU Athletics presents The Joe Dooley Show. The Joe Dooley Show is brought to you by Vidant Health, official health system of the ECU Pirates. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Happy holidays, everyone, and welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us today. Joe will be here in just a couple of minutes, and we'll look at the highlights from the North Carolina A&T game. It was the 40th anniversary of the Independence Bowl team. Our Brian Bailey had a chance to catch up with some of those football players. Associate head coach Rafael Chilius will be here as well. Another coach's corner segment. And then the Pirates will start the conference season next week. It all starts for real, folks. 18 straight games in the AAC. The Pirates will play SMU and Cincinnati. Cincinnati at home in the home opener next week. So a big week coming up. Joe will join me. Hang in there with us right after this. When you're not feeling well, Vidant Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vidant Now. With Vidant Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidantNow.com. Best tailgate, brisket. No, real football, y pollo asado. Hoops and wings, dude, subs. Hot dog. Chili dog. No, Dodger dog. It's gotta be crawfish. Now you talk burgers. Seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Hum what? You need a hot grill. And an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke, come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day. Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. Grab yourself a Coke. It's tailgate 101. You may not have noticed, but it's all connected to the internet. Sure, it's YouTube, Netflix, and adorable selfies, but it's also high-octane gaming, security cams, thermostats, your fridge, Wi-Fi speakers, smartwatches, workout equipment, pet feeders, and even crockpots. Seriously, and it's all on the same internet connection. At least with internet from Suddenlink, your home can live up to its fully connected potential. Without it, not so much. Suddenlink, the fastest internet provider in the U.S. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus. Because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. With more than 90 online programs, 40 of them unique to ECU, more students than ever before are making East Carolina University their online destination. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. There's a lot to do out there. You can either talk about it or you can do something about it. At ECU, we choose to do things. And we can help you do just about anything. Come here to keep hometowns thriving, hearts beating, or make waves across the world. Wherever you're headed, this ship can get you there. With 30,000 of us doing so much, you won't find anyone sitting around. You ready? Today's highlights are brought to you by these local nationwide agents. Welcome to the show. Joe joins us now. Coach, uh, did you have a good Christmas holiday? We had a good Christmas. It was good to be around the family, and uh, we were back here Christmas night, pra night, night practicing, so the guys were home for a couple of days, had them back, uh, tried to get some of that food out of them and, and get back to work. Yeah, let's talk about that. How did the guys come back? We, we were pretty good on, on Christmas night. and I, was surprised. I think the guys did a good job when they were home of staying in pretty good shape. Obviously, you brought them back a little bit early to do some conditioning, some shooting. And obviously, I think this time of year, it's probably good to get a couple of days off to get their bodies rested a little bit. And a couple of days to maybe get away from basketball mentally too, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, we've had a, a busy uh, you know, start to the season. Obviously, we played 11 games. And uh, of those, we've had five of them were last possession games. So I think there's been some, you know, a, lot of, a lot of emphasis and a lot of stress on them. And now it's a good time to get some rest. Joe, let's talk Talk about this non-conference season now for your ball club. What's been most pleasing to you about your team? Our defensive stats are good enough to win some games. I mean, we've, we've been good field goal percentage defense. We've been great three-point field goal percentage defense. Our points per game are good. 
Um, we, we need to get better, obviously, offensively. One, one area we have gotten better at, we've stopped turning the ball over in, in droves so far. Hopefully that'll stay the way it is. We need to shoot the ball better, uh, both from the three especially and from the two-point shot. We need to make easy shots. Do you have the personnel, some guys who you're looking at to step up as we start the conference season offensively? Well, you would like to think that hopefully some of the younger guys have gotten enough minutes that they, have, they recognize some of these things. And uh, I think the more reps, and we had some practices, I think the more reps they get, the more familiar they get. And, uh, you know, we're a young team, so these guys haven't had enough experience to do a lot of things that we're trying to do. Yeah, you've had to do a lot of teaching, haven't you, this first year? We have, and, and I think, you know, one of the big things is that the freshmen and sophomores are, are getting minutes. Uh, we're not a very experienced team, you know, I, you know with Isaac and, and Seth as our only two upperclassmen. And uh, I do think that Justice going to conference play will have to be a little bit more of a factor because he's, he's physical enough to compete in the American. Coach, how about your playbook? Uh, how much do you have in? How much do you tweak? How does that go week to week? We, we have some stuff in. We don't have as much as we'd like to get in. I think a lot of that's familiarity with, with you know, we, I came in here uh, with a new, new, some new things we're going to do. Uh, it was a lot easier last year. I had a very experienced team at Florida Gulf Coast, and, and this year we're not as experienced uh, trying to tweak some things. I do think from a defensive standpoint, we've got enough in to be competitive offensively. We need to tweak some things. I know you're a man-to-man -man kind of guy, but how about zone moving forward here in the conference? We've, we've worked on some zone. We've played it a little bit. Actually, it saved us for in the App State game, and uh, we, we work on zone just about every day. Uh, offensively and defensively for about 10 to 15 minutes just to make some make sure we're familiar with it. Coach, how about pressure defense? Well, I think one of the things with pressure is, you know, I do worry about us giving up points on the back end. We're not a great shot blocking team. Uh, you know, the, the harder you pressure, the more people attack your rim. And we've had a problem, obviously, fouling. And the second part of that is when people can get to the rim, uh, we don't have a, a lot of shot blockers. So I do think we can contain. I think our, our, our two-point field goal percentage and our three-point field goal percentage have been good. We just need to keep the ball in front of us. As we start the conference season, you've had some guys nicked up here in the uh, preseason, the non-conference schedule. How are you guys health-wise? I think health-wise, we're about as good as we've been. I mean, some guy, this time of the year, everybody's hurt everywhere. I mean, everybody's bruised and battered, and that's part of it. I think the main thing is just not having guys out. We've been able to have some guys in a practice, which is, which is good, and having depth in practice helps because then you can compete with each other. North Carolina A&T was here on a Friday night. When we come back, we'll look at those highlights right after this. There's something for everyone at Golden Corral, but nothing beats their signature USDA sirloin. Juicy, hand-carved, and grilled just how you like. The signature sirloin, every night at Golden Corral. Good morning, Oracle Susanna. Guys, what are you doing here? You said that we could watch the game on your crystal ball. No. We brought the light. OK, come in. Oh, wow. No. I wonder how it works. No, 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 no. Blindfold is for me. Here goes nothing. Mom, you're going to break it. Do we lose? Here's to the friends you can always count on. When it's too cold for camping, we go camping. When it's too hot to work, we work. Too wet to keep going? Nah. This is the Gator XUV835 with game-changing heat and air and three wide seating. It's never too anything for anything. Nothing runs like a deer. Reliable equipment and dependable service. That's quality. Stop by a location near you or request a quote at qualityequip.com. Planet Fitness is a proud sponsor of the ECU Pirates, and we're celebrating with zero enrollment fees. You love purple, we love purple. You take no quarter, we take no quarter. With benefits like a 24-7 judgment-free zone packed with tons of equipment, free unlimited fitness training, and the friendliest crew on deck. So, are you ready, Pirate fans? Wear your pirate colors to Planet Fitness in Greenville, Wilson, or Rocky Mount for a free Planet Fitness Day Pass. Plus, no enrollment fee when you join. And go Pirates! There's a lot to do out there. You can either talk about it or you can do something about it. At ECU, we choose to do things. And we can help you do just about anything. Come here to keep hometowns thriving, hearts beating, or make waves across the world. Wherever you're headed, this ship can get you there. With 30,000 of us doing so much, you won't find anyone sitting around. You ready? There's something for everyone at Golden Corral, but nothing beats their signature USDA sirloin. Juicy, hand-carved, and grilled just how you like. The signature sirloin, 
every night at Golden Corral. Welcome back to the show. North Carolina A&T here on a Friday night to take on the Pirates at Williams Arena Minji's Coliseum. They came in with a record of four wins and eight losses. But, Joe, that's always misleading with a MEAC team because they always go out and schedule big, don't they? Well, they've played Maryland, Minnesota, uh, at Virginia Tech on the road. Uh, I think the thing that was most impressive about them, and, and if you look at their stats, they're shooting 39% from the, from the three-point line as a team, 47% from the floor, uh, and they've, they've played a real schedule. Yeah, they really have. Jay Joyner's done a nice job at North Carolina A&T. Joe, what kind of a coach is he? What does he like to do? Well, they, they play several different ways. They do play some man, and they soft press you. They come back uh, and play some zone uh, that is uh, that looks like a zone that switches to a man. Uh, offensively, they do a really good job of spreading the floor. They throw, they threw, throw the ball in the post a little bit, and their guards can really create. No doubt about that. Quay Copeland comes in averaging 13 points per game. Let's go out to Williams Arena. Minji's Coliseum now. Pick up the highlights as the Pirates take on the Aggies. Warrior averaging 7.2 a game at the two spot. 4,761 on a Friday night. We pick up the highlights, and Isaac Fleming knocks down his first three of the year here, Joe. Well, to his credit, he's been really working very hard on shooting and coming, actually, you know, coming early and staying late with uh, Coach Rock and Raphael and getting a lot of shots up. and. Uh, he's made a bunch in practice, and I think hopefully this will get it out of his head. He's had a little bit of a glitch, and, and it was good to see the ball go in the basket. He had seven points early, and then Sean Williams would knock down six threes in this game, Coach, and he gets one here. Well, statistically, you're hoping he'd come back to where he's, he's been doing. He's another one has been in the gym quite a bit lately. We've been putting an emphasis on shooting, and, and he, uh, his stroke looked really good. Seth Leday also gets a basket here. Coach, you get off to a good start. It's 12 to 2. We really did. I, I thought that was a tribute to our defense. We were very pleased with how we got out in the, in the passing lanes and how we shortened the court. The guys did a nice job of paying attention to game plan. Jaden Gardner, Coach, just another terrific game as he gets a layup here. Yeah, we had a, a bunch of shots at the rim that we didn't convert early, but he was very, very good. And uh, it seemed that we, if we didn't turn it over, we had a really good chance of scoring. And, uh, that was our biggest problem defensively as we turned it over quite a few times. And Gardner gets another basket here. Pirates go up 26 to 14 with 7.49 to go in the first half. Sean Williams, as we talked about, really had it dialed in from three. Gets another three to go here, 2.59 to go to make it 35 to 20. And then Seth Leday shows that he can face up and knock down a shot too. He's another one that's been, you know, he's been in the gym quite a bit. And, and uh, I think his touch has continued to improve. And obviously his athleticism is terrific. 38-27 at halftime. The Pirates are up by 11. We start the second half now, and you got to keep your foot on the gas here, Coach. And, and Williams knocks down a three. We, we were fortunate. We, we did. You know, he banged a three there for us. But our defensive intensity to start the second half wasn't where it needed to be, but we were fortunate enough to make some shots. Defense was so good, though, in this game. Malik Gans uh, gets a jumper to go here. He was the only player in double figures for A&T. We did a nice job defensively. Obviously, they're very talented offensively and shoot a high percentage. And we, we did a nice job uh, guarding it. Isaac Fleming gets a layup here. Pirates go up by 14, 49 to 35, 14, 54 to go. Sean Williams knocks down another three. Again, he had six of them in this game. Seth Lede gets a basket to go here, and Joe, all of a sudden, you're up by 19. We did a good job after not starting the half the right way. We did a good job of, of getting out, and it all started with stops, and then we did make some shots. And then how about this play? The ball uh, was kind of batted around, and then Jaden Gardner finds it after the assist by Isaac. And he gets a dunk here. No, we were lucky. We, they, they, we didn't get that ball. It was, it was a jailbreak going the other way. We were going to lose. It was a transition going the other way. We were very fortunate. The Pirates win it by 20, the final 77 to 57. And you can paint this one purple. Hi, I'm Jeff, the Window Man. We're celebrating our newly renovated showroom over 30 years ago. Our family here at Carolina Wind and Doors set out to help homeowners not only protect their biggest investment, but also to cut energy costs. Tell us more about it, Blake and Brad. Don't think you have to settle for those big, bulky plastic windows that everyone has to order from someone out of state. Our windows are created by hand right here in this design center. From years of experience, Carolina Windows and Doors has combined expertise with superior design. Everyone loves our easy tilt and cleaning feature, allowing both sashes to be tilted to the inside. All of our windows have a thermal break, providing superior energy efficiency. Our entry doors can also make a beautiful statement about your home, but also add the benefit of energy savings and security. Build your custom entryway with choices on just about everything. 
and top it off with the storm door for even more security and efficiency. Call us now at 1-800-545-7172 or visit us online at cwdnc.com. This is Billy, Billy Beer, America's light craft beer. Yeah, you heard that right. Light, craft, and insanely good. It's got that refreshing, crisp taste, and it's got fewer calories than all the big guys. Yeah, those big guys. So that means less of this and more of this. So whether you're here, 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 or here, take Billy with you. Billy Beer. Love it. Crush it. This is Crushable Craft. You may not have noticed, but it's all connected to the Internet. Sure, it's YouTube, Netflix, and adorable selfies, but it's also high-octane gaming, security cams, thermostats, your fridge, Wi-Fi speakers, smartwatches, workout equipment, pet feeders, and even crockpots. Seriously, and it's all on the same Internet connection. At least with Internet from Suddenlink, your home can live up to its fully connected potential. Without it, not so much. Suddenlink, the fastest Internet provider in the U.S. There's a lot to do out there. You can either talk about it, or you can do something about it. At ECU, we choose to do things. And we can help you do just about anything. Come here to keep hometowns thriving, hearts beating, or make waves across the world. Wherever you're headed, this ship can get you there. With 30,000 of us doing so much, you won't find anyone sitting around. You ready? Welcome back to the show. One of the great moments in East Carolina Pirate football history. We go back 40 years to 1978 to the Independence Bowl. Hey, you talk about defense. This Pirate defense for seven turnovers and a win over Louisiana Tech. The guys were back in town, and our Brian Bailey had a chance to visit. It's time now for today's Pirate Profile. Brought to you by Quality Collision. Quality Collision, more than a name, a commitment. East Carolina's 1978 Independence Bowl Championship squad celebrated its 40th anniversary last week. The Sports Objective podcast hosted the event at Professor O'Cool's in Greenville. Remember, East Carolina beat Louisiana Tech 35-13 in the bowl game. Hall of Fame coach Pat Dye spoke to the team via telephone, and new East Carolina football coach Mike Houston made a guest appearance. Houston even got the chance to talk with Coach Dye. It's one of the legends of college football. You know, one of the one of the great all-time coaches. And I remember, again, I remember when I was growing up. You know, his teams and just you know perennial top ten you know teams in the country. So uh, you know, just it's, it's it's an honor to be associated with a place where he was coaching. The Independence Bowl anniversary Sam team Harrell featured East Carolina Hall of Famer Leander uh, Green at quarterback. Touchdown. Green loved Leander his team Green. back then, Leander and that love and respect really continues on 40 years later. It's always good to be back with the Pirate family. Um, we always felt like a family when I was there anyway. That was one of the things that, that drew me to East Carolina. I uh, love seeing these guys, love every one of them. So it's always great to get together, see guys that I haven't seen in a long time. So. Fantastic to see all the faces. Tony Collins was a standout running back at East Carolina before a long NFL career with the New England Patriots. Collins, too, certainly enjoyed the camaraderie of getting back together 40 years later. Coming back and seeing all the guys, man, it is, it's, it's what it's all about. Um, you know, you, you, it's guys like Theodore Sutton, Leander Green, and Eddie Hicks, guys that played in the backfield. Well, I think, I think our junior year, yeah, we led, our, our, and, uh, we led the whole nation, the entire nation in Russia. And it was just a, a famous time for us. And it's just so great to see all the guys again and healthy and, and looking good. The squad also featured former Pirate football coach Ruffin McNeil, who had this key interception in the win. Wide receiver Terry Gallagher organized the party and has a great message to the Pirate Nation. You know, what we did back then, and we want Pirate Nation to understand that what we want to see happen again is uh, we want to all be one. We don't want to be a bunch of divisions. It's not about different eras. It's all about being one big Pirate Nation. And now it's time to come together and fill that stadium up this fall and just uh, get back to playing real Pirate football. So we're real excited about it. Many of them returned, and those that did were all smiles all afternoon long. With the 1978 Independence Bowl champs from East Carolina, I'm Brian Bailey.
What we're doing now, we're working on getting multiple shots at game speed on the move. We've already seen, a, a watch the drill, where we're doing spot shooting, where guys are catching off the pass and able to shoot on the spot. A lot of time in games, we have our players coming off of pin down screens, where it's the seventh man up, get used to shooting it on the move, gets a curl shot sometimes. Sometimes the defense is there, they try to jump it on the show. Now he's able to bump fade to the corner, so we're gonna work on curls and fading and multiple shots for each player. And then again, if you like to work out and shoot with a group of three, four, five players, it's a good way to be active and keep people moving. And we'll notice a lot of talk, a lot of encouragement, whether the shots go in or not. Okay, let's do this. Let's go, let's go. Good, 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 John Nett, let's go. Talk, fade, 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 let's go, fade. Good, good, John's up, talk, John, talk to him, let's go. Good, 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 let's go, let's go. Good, good, hit him, hit him, let's go. Let's go, you got sprint down there, John, let's go. You got sprint to the corner, let's go. Good, get, get there, Evan, get there, Evan, good. Good, let's go, Ian's up, Ian's up. There we go, good, inside foot, curl, shoot. Good, get there, Ian, good, let's go. Addison's up, good, there we go. Let's go, let's make shots, let's make shots. Good, get there, Addison, good, good. Good passes, good footwork. Inside foot, good, inside foot. Good, John, knock it down, inside foot. Good, let's go, let's go, Evan. Let's go, sprint up there. Show your hands, show your hands on the catch. Good, let's go, back to the corner. Good, there we go, good. Good, ears up, ears up, let's go, in. There we go, let's be excited about making shots. Good, good, Evan, Ian. Good, good, let's go, let's go, Addison. Let's go, knock it down, inside foot, shoot with confidence. Good, good, AD. Good, knock it down. Good, here we go. Good, way to go, way to move on the shots. Good, knock it down. And with this drill, what you do on one side of the court, we're always doing the other side. So they're working on inside pivots, catch, and shooting on both sides of the court. Great job, fellas. And on to punts away. As he drives it deep over the head of Harris. Let's see if they can pin it inside the 10. As good job by the coverage unit, Harris says, I'm going to play this because I can. And look at the return he gets. What a smart move by Harris as he gets free. Oh, How wow. about it, Raider Nation? Wow. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there. Home, auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Good morning, Oracle Susanna. Guys, what are you doing here? You said that we could watch the game on your crystal ball. No. We brought the light. OK, come in. Oh, wow. Huh. I wonder how it works. No, 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 no. Blindfold is for me. Here goes nothing. Mom, you're going to break it. Anyways. Here's to the friends you can always count on. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus. Because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. As one of the largest universities and the largest online community in the state, you'll find the Pirate Nation wherever you are. With this many ways to connect, share, and succeed, we'll guide you to graduation and beyond. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. When it's too cold for camping, we go camping. When it's too hot to work, we work. Too wet to keep going? Nah. This is the Gator XUV835 with game-changing heat and air and three wide seating. It's never too anything for anything. Nothing runs like a deer. Reliable equipment and dependable service. That's quality. Stop by a location near you or request a quote at qualityequip.com. There's a lot to do out there. 
You can either talk about it or you can do something about it. At ECU, we choose to do things. And we can help you do just about anything. Come here to keep hometowns thriving, hearts beating, or make waves across the world. Wherever you're headed, this ship can get you there. With 30,000 of us doing so much, you won't find anyone sitting around. You ready? Welcome back to the show. It's all conference games now. The rest of the way, 18 games in the AAC. And Joe, is your ball club ready? Well, we'll see quickly. I mean, obviously, you go to SMU, and uh, Tim's done a great job following Coach Brown. And uh, then the, one of the premier teams in our league with Cincinnati comes into Minji's. And, and you know, uh, Mick has done a great job with, with those guys. I think it's eight or nine straight consecutive uh, NCAA tournament bids. Uh, they've got off to a big start, beat, beat the brakes off of UCLA the other day. And uh, we've got our hands full to start. Yeah, let's talk about those games. Eight and four for SMU as far as their non-conference is concerned. You mentioned Coach Jankovic. You guys go back a ways, don't you? Yeah, we worked together for four years at KU, and Tim's done a really good job. Uh, they've had a lot of guys injured. When I saw, saw uh, talked to Tim a little bit earlier, they had practicing with seven guys, which is never good. Uh, my math isn't great, but that means you can't play five on five. Uh, but Tim's done a really good job. You know, I think they've got everybody back and healthy, and they've obviously got some experience. They do. Jamal McMurray, we've seen him now in this league. He started at USF, and now he's at been SMU. Around. He's been around, Joe. Averaging 18 points per game, he's really a good player. He can score a lot of different ways. Athleticism, uh, obviously he, he can score a bunch of different ways. Tim's very creative offensively. Uh, so we've got our hands full with that deal. Yeah, this is a good ball club. Ethan uh, Shargaw inside is also a good player, too. Well, they can hurt you both ways. They can shoot it from the perimeter, they can drive it, but they can also throw the ball into the post, which, which creates problems. And then Cincinnati's really had a terrific non-conference season, 11-2. and two. And Jaron Cumberland's one of the best players in this league, averaging 16 points a game. Well, he, they've got experience, and I think one of the things, this is probably one of mixed younger teams, but they, they've got some guys on the court that have played a lot of minutes. Cumberland is an all-league player, as we know. Uh, you know, you watch them play against UCLA, and they, they, they look terrific. Uh, no matter what UCLA did, they, they picked it apart. Uh, not, their non-conference schedule has been very good, so they're, they're battle-tested. You know, we talk about Coach Cronin. You mentioned this to me the other day. It was his fifth year before he got the Cincinnati program into the NCAA tournament, so he's put a lot of hard work into this. He's, he's done a great job. He, he, you know, Coach Huggins did an unbelievable job, and when Mick took over, I think when you look at what he did, he's, he's built that, and it's, they become consistent. They're gritty. They're grimy. They're tough. Uh, and he sort of built it in the image of what Cincinnati's about. Yeah, no doubt. Joe, uh, what would it mean to have a big house in here for that opener against Cincinnati coming up? Oh, it would be great. I mean, they, uh, the fans make a difference. I hope they know that, and, and the atmosphere they can bring and the energy they can bring to our guys would be great. Okay, Coach, thanks so much for the visit. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Jeff. That's the head coach of the Pirates, Joe Dooley. Remember now, the Pirates are home on Saturday against the Cincinnati Bearcats right here at Williams Arena, Minji's Coliseum. We hope to see you here. Pirate fans, you're the best. The Joe Dooley Show has been presented by Suddenlink, now offering internet speeds up to one gig. The Joe Dooley Show is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.